Hey viewers, if you would like to get two soon trending news videos, please subscribe to our channel, Daily Bulletin News, and stay with us. After rescuing Victoria, Constantin makes another startling move on Days of Our Lives today. Thersa makes a mistake, Chad strikes a deal with Gwen, and Xander consoles Sarah. Chad calls Gwen, who is in Alemania, from the square. She alone can provide him with what he needs. Given her lack of success in obtaining Dimitri's inheritance, he extends an offer to purchase her share of the spectator. She is unsure. It seems callous to sell the paper for quick money when she stole it from her father. Chad says not if she sells to him. Is this about paying tribute to Abigail's legacy, Gwen wonders. Although Chad acknowledges its role, he believes the new editor-in-chief is the main factor. He's prepared to shell out a huge sum of money to make sure Everett stays out of his way. Can they agree on anything? Stephanie pretends to be offended when Everett says she gets around in the pub. He says sorry, it's taking some time for him to adjust to her leaving him. He asks Stephanie why she dumped Alex, and they go over the ghosting-slash-coma incident again. When she asks why he would be interested, he says that since they parted ways, he's been wondering about her life. Stephanie acknowledges that her desire to feel desirable led her to get involved with Alex only after Everett vanished. However, he found it difficult to let go when she declared they were done. Everett now knows why Chad was having problems with Alex. Furthermore, he must assume that Everett is even more dangerous to Chad than he is because, unlike her and Alex, he and Stephanie were sincere. He fears for her because he notices a pattern of possessiveness. Brady agrees to take Basic Black on board at Titan after Alex makes the offer. Though delighted, Alex warns him not to put Theresa in charge of Bella. Brady, with a wince, cautions his cousin not to ignore her for even a moment. Sander screams at Sarah in the hospital for calling Brady as a witness in today's custody hearing. She assures him that she will stop at nothing to protect her daughter from him. Brady will also gladly attest to the fact that Xander kidnapped his and Kristen's daughter to take Sarah's place. For allowing Brady to believe his daughter was dead, she labels him as depraved. Xander won't be allowed anywhere near Victoria when the judge finds out. Theresa objects to Constantin's order to take baby Victoria from the Kyriakis mansion. If Alex doesn't comply, Constantin threatens to reveal everything. If he wants to maintain Maggie's trust, he needs Sarah on his side. Alex will never discover the truth that he is not Victor's son if Theresa plays her part. Maggie later makes her way back to the living room, while Theresa quickly leaves with Victoria, hiding her face. Maggie discovers Constantine unconscious on the floor, having been struck in the head by a fireplace poker. Getting to his feet slowly, Constantine dashes off to rescue the infant. Maggie gives Sarah a panicked call as she continues to warn Xander that Nicole and Holly will be revealed as his kidnapping. Sarah accuses Xander of snatching Victoria to make her appear unfit to be a mother after they hang up. Xander is horrified and says he didn't. They dash over to the estate. Everett and Stephanie wager lightheartedly at the pub regarding Everett's presumptions about Chad. Everett makes the argument that Chad's feelings about his late wife and his jealousy of Stephanie and her ex-partners are the root of all of this. There is give and take in any healthy relationship, but she is giving all the time while Chad is taking all the things. Stephanie, obviously moved, grabs for his wallet and tells him she's wrong. Elliot halts her. Are you certain that I lost? Gwen tells Chad over the phone that if it weren't for Everett's article about Leo and Dimitri's romance, she never would have thought about severing her final connection to Salem. So Chad is fortunate with the timing. She requests that he make her a non-offensive offer. And he is the spectator. Stephanie claims at the pub that Everett really lost their wager and takes the money. She believes that when she vents, he only hears the negative things. Chad walks in. When you get upset over what? By praising Stephanie for narrating the Leo story, Everett assists Stephanie in covering. Chad gloats that Everett is doing a terrific job at the paper. He believes that as adults, they can all establish limits. Shaking hands, the men posturing that they have understood one another.